Are you stuck on knowing whether you are in ketosis or not, but don't want the hassle or expense of actually having to measure your, your ketone levels? Hi friends, I hope you are doing well. I am Kirtilan and you are watching Neutro Plus. Today we will talk about 9 signs that you are in ketosis or not. Before we proceed, subscribe to our YouTube channel for amazing content and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we publish a new video. In this video, I am going to show you 9 different ways in which your body tells you that you are in ketosis. If you want to lose weight, then ketosis will be very beneficial for you. If you practice ketosis, it will help you to feel less hungry which leads you to eat less and ultimately as a result, you lose weight. It helps you lose belly fat which is also known as visceral fat while maintaining your lean mass. So, measuring your blood ketone levels with some device is definitely the most accurate way of knowing whether you are in ketosis or not. But, the strips can get pretty expensive. To be honest, no one really wants to print their finger with one of these devices several times a day. Measuring urine ketones with a dipstick like these is a much cheaper alternative, but the results can be a little bit inaccurate and difficult to interpret. Different ways of your body telling that you are in ketosis. Sometimes and whether you are just starting out on a ketogenic diet, there are different ways which our body tells us that we are in ketosis and whilst these things do come in useful, occasionally I think the vast majority of the time we don't really need these ketonic measuring devices and we can rely on the symptoms that I am going to show you in this video. 9 Signs Keto Flu So number 1 is Keto Flu. Keto flu is so called because of the flu-like symptoms that you get maybe 2-3 to three days after starting a very low carb ketogenic diet. So you can feel a bit headachy and a little bit tired maybe, poor concentration. To be honest, I think calling it flu is a little bit extreme if you have ever actually had the flu. What you go through here is nothing in comparison. But it could be the first time that your body is starting to burn fat as its primary fuel source and it's just not used to that and it takes a little bit of a period of adaptation. Keto Breath So number 2 is Keto Breath Keto Breath is a centennial notice as the levels of ketones in your blood start to rise and actually one of the ketones escapes in the form of a stone and that is breath out. Now, not everybody can detect that some people can't even smell that, but it's a very very common symptom when you start a low carb ketogenic diet. Digestive changes Number 3 is digestive changes. So it is pretty common for people to have changes in their bowel habits after a few days of being on a low carb diet. Your whole body is adapting to a new way of eating and all your bacteria within your gut have also got to adapt to that way of eating. And that means there's gonna be changes. Now. Some people get constipated and other people get diarrhea. It's usually pretty short-lived though. Decreased Exercise Performance Number 4 is Decreased Exercise Performance If you are not really doing a lot of exercise, you might not notice this one. But if you are a regular gym goer, particularly if you are doing weights, then you probably notice that you won't be able to lift quite as much as you normally do. Or if you are sprinting, you might not be able to do that as quickly or go as far as you normally do. Reasons why this happens? So, the first reason for this is you probably burn through your short-term energy stores. When you go on a low-carbohydrate ketogenic diet, the first thing your body uses up is your short-term energy stores, which are glycogen, which is in the liver and your muscles. And it's glycogen that your muscles normally use for real short bursts of energy. And that would be things like lifting heavy weights or sprinting. So, those are the areas which you probably notice the biggest difference in. So, the second reason you might experience decreased exercise performance is because your body is just not used to burning fat. And ketones as its primary energy source, yeah, it takes a period of adaptation for your body to get used to those new fuels. And that's going to show up in your exercise performance. Insomnia Number 5 is insomnia. When you're on a ketogenic diet, up to 70% of the energy your brain is supplied with can be from ketones. And this is a very different energy source for your brain. And it's very common for people who aren't used to being on a ketogenic diet to experience insomnia. 
So these first five have been negative but usually pretty temporary symptoms of being on a low carb ketogenic diet. They all happened during the early phases but can be a sign that you are on the right track if being in ketosis in the longer term is your goal. You will be pleased to know that the next four are very positive and if you are already on a ketogenic diet, you are probably going to have experienced some of these symptoms. So why not drop me a comment below and let me know did they pass? How long did it take for them to pass and have you got any tips for other people who might be experiencing these symptoms? I would love to hear from you, okay? So let's move into the final four signs that you are in ketosis. Reduced appetite. Number six is a reduced appetite. So you have created the conditions in your body when you can now access your stored body fat as energy. So you're gonna be less hungry. You're getting your energy from your first stores. This is great. This is a really positive sign and it's very often at this point that people decide I actually don't need breakfast anymore. And this is a really good you into intermittent fasting and the fact that you have got reduced hunger means that transition to intermittent fasting can be much easier. And that's one of the reasons I often recommend people start the low carb diet before they actually start intermittent dieting. It sort of just naturally happens that way. The second reason you are probably not feeling as hungry is you are not getting the huge insulin. Spikes after a carb-based meal that you would have been doing and we know that we can drive hunger forward when you get reactive low blood glucose level. Improved mental clarity. Number seven is improved mental clarity. Now this is one of my favorites. I love the clearness of thinking and the mental clarity that I have when I am in a state of ketosis. It is just awesome and it's well worth it. Being on the ketogenic diet purely for that if it wasn't for all the weight loss stuff and ketones are a great source of fuel for the brain. And yes so. Improved physical energy. Number 8 is improved physical energy levels. So you are now accessing your fat as your primary storer energy. And that's giving you a much more even delivery of energy throughout the day. So you often don't get those afternoon carb crash slumps anymore. Hopefully, your early phase insomnia will have cleared up your sleep and will probably be better at that point. And you will be waking up more refreshed. Often people need a little bit less sleep when they are on a ketogenic diet. And these are great signs that you are probably in ketosis. Losing weight. So number nine is the big one. You are losing weight. If the reason you want a ketogenic diet is you are trying to lose weight and you are actually losing weight, then it's really not worth bothering whether you are actually in ketosis or not. You have probably got enough evidence that you are in ketosis and you are achieving your goal of weight loss. So losing weight for me is the biggest sign that you are ketosis and being in on a regular basis, you get to know fluctuations within your body weight that tell you whether you are on the right track or not. So, now you know the 9 signs of ketosis. So that's it for today. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned to Neutroplast to follow a healthy lifestyle. See you in the next video. Goodbye.